So, my next demo is about a simulation showing what will happen or how can I handle uh, when my source data is changing. So let's say that my source data will have two more columns. So I need to update my DCR and also the table so that it knows and understand the data coming in from the two more uh, two new columns from the data. And I have built some uh, a function that will handle that for us. So let's start by looking at the data as it is right now. We can see here that I have the data, which is the, uh, the data that was sent in here. And we can go in and check the structure of the data, which are being shown. Here we can see that it has 64 columns of the data. And if we go in and check the actual structure, we can see here uh, the uh, different columns that we have. And if we go over to the, to the table, we should also be uh, able to see the, uh, the structure of the uh, table, which uh, has the 64 uh, columns, or actually it has 65. And the reason for the, uh, the last column is that it's because the time generated, uh, which is also being added. So if we go in here, we can see that we have the 65. And if we scroll down, we can see the time generated. And this is handled by the uh, transform KQL. So I'm extending the time generated uh, column and sending in the data uh, from the actual time. So the source right now has 64, but the target is having 65. So what I will now be doing is that I will simulate that my source is changing. So now I will add and I have built a function for that, um, which will add two more columns and data. And now we can see that it is increasing from 64 to 66. So what I will now do is that I will run this. And if we look at the data, we can also see here that the data now has two more uh, columns. And if we check the type, we will also see here that the column is down here and it is string values. So now I will run my script, which will update the table. That's odd. No, it is not odd. It's actually because I just changed the the name. Let me just collect that. We will just do like this. For the demo, I have changed the name of the table. So I will just do like this. And it will read in the name of this DCR 101. And if we go in and run the script again, we should now see that it's working. And now we can see here it's looking at 101. And it is also updating the declaration of 101 down here. So now if we go in and lastly, what I want to do is I want to send in some data. 
uh, with the new structure. So we can see here that I have the command to send in the data and we have the test data in here and I will just go in and send the data in and it was successfully. So if we go in now and change the 101 we should now be seeing the schema has increased it is now uh, and let's just update demo 101 edit the schema we can now see it says 67 and if we scroll down to test column 1 test column 2 and we can see that it's string values if we go in and check our DCR and look for that we should also be seeing the same declaration we have the 101 here and we can go in and check the view of the declaration and if we scroll down here we can see the test column 1 and 2 which are here and lastly for the test to be successfully we want to go in and see if we can see some data so if we go into the log analytics again and check there we go logs and we want to look in the table right here see if data has arrived what is that 25 if we scroll down here it has not been updated yet There's some data. Patience, Morton. Still not with the new DCR change. We are still looking here to see that it has been updated. Just wait for it to replicate around
still no data with the right, correct format. Let's just verify everything is correct. We have the DCR and the table 101, aided schema, yes. And we can see the test column, yep, that's correct. If we go in and check the DCR demo. 101 and we can see here test column 1 and 2 yes if we look at the data being sent in we can see that it's going through the right stream that uh, we have <coughs> We should also be seeing the uh, immune table, DCR 35-5B. If we verify with the DCR, we can see here 35-5B. And lastly, we can also see here the stream for the uh, endpoint that are being sent in. And we can see here that is the server endpoint. And if we want to verify the DCR, DCE name, we can go in and check for the data collection endpoint, find the endpoint. And here we have the stream name Y1M8 and Y1M8. So everything looks good. And let's just do another data transfer. Yep. And we will go in here and see if data is coming in. Lux. Thirty two still no data. We just have to wait a few more minutes, I guess. All right, let's just try to send in the data, and we can see it successfully. Go in and check. Let's see. Here we go. 38. And if we scroll down now, we can see that the new column has arrived. So data was sent in. It took about, I would say, 10, 12 minutes for the schema change to be uh, replicated. Uh, but now it is coming in and it is working. So it is possible to do uh, updates of the schema and, and send it in. Um, so the next demo that I want to show you is about how I can do another change which is changing to a different data collection endpoint. Um, so uh, let's start by adding the new um, I have here, uh, let's uh, just uh, populate this uh, down, let's uh, just add, can just install I have a table here just gonna install it. So now 
I am installing a new table in DCR. And that particular table and DCR are pointing at a specific DCE, which is uh, my server and, uh, uh, and cloud DCE. So f in a few minutes, I will be changing that so that it's pointing to my client DCE. So now I'm installing the data collection rule and if we go in and check we should now be seeing a new data collection rule coming in here we go now we can see that it's coming and if we go in and check look at the in here we can see here the data collection endpoint at the top and it is pointing to the DCE, which is called Server Network Cloud. So that is where I'm sending in data. Let's say that I want to change to another one. I can do that. So I have another DCE, which is called Client. And if we want to see that, I can go down here, Data Collection Endpoint, and I can see that there's a Client one here which has a different configuration. Um, so now I want to go in and I want to update my existing uh, DCR. So I will go in and run these commands. Some are, some are from these uh, functions that I have built. And it will, I will update the DCR endpoint. So now it is checking and it updating the DC uh, E endpoint. So I will go in and check my rule again. Demo to check my JSON and look in here. And if we go up here and we scroll out to the, we can now see that it's using a different endpoint. So now data needs to be sent in uh, through another endpoint for this particular DCR. So the last one I want to show is about cleaning up. So if you are tired of doing manual deletion of both the custom tables and DCRs, I have a new function or two new functions that will help you do that. And if I run it, we can see here that I have three demo tables and I will choose yes to delete that. And I have two DCRs and I choose yes for confirmation of that. And if we go in to my overview here, we should see that the, at, they are being deleted and uh, it will take a few seconds here and we should see that they are gone in a few seconds so now they're gone so that completes everything